After a day of torrential rain yesterday, the skies have at last cleared. This is the final day of the Shell Echo Marathon Europe, and it's the team's last chance to put their vehicles through the paces and to win a place on the podium. As the teams prep their cars to get on track, there is a collective sense of relief and anticipation after the frustration of not racing yesterday. Some competitors got up early and even took their sleeping bags to get a good place in the queue. They are keenly aware that this is their last chance. With cars fueled and engines fired, last minute nerves are tempered by the relief of being able to race again. With cars fueled and engines fired, last minute nerves are tempered by the relief of being able to race At again. At last, they're off again. With a full day's racing ahead, it remains to be seen if any more records can be set. As the competition drew to a climax, the good weather returned to the Shell Echo Marathon Europe. The competitors on track at the Euro Speedway Lausitz were all eager to get another crack at setting records in minimal fuel consumption and secure a place on the podium in the face of stiff competition. This was the last chance that the teams had to show what they could do after months of hard work and preparation. Prototypes and urban concepts competing on track together presented a huge variety in vehicle design. Teams are competing for prizes in a host of categories reflecting diverse fuel sources and design types. The track at Euro Speedway Lausitz provides a great platform for student drivers to demonstrate their skills and has favoured some great records both this year and last. Once they've completed the requisite laps of the track, the fuel measuring begins, a meticulous process that will judge the exact amount of fuel consumed. We fill it up exactly to the gouge so that it's, the tank is completely full. When the cars go on the track, do their seven or eight races, depends on the type, and then they come into our measurement area and we fill it up with this kind of equipment, this kind of burettes. So we just open the tank, fill it up up to the gouge again, and then uh, we know exactly the consumption which the cars use for this 25 kilometers. Competitors anxiously await the results that are collated by a team of monitors. One of the many remarkable teams here at the Schellecke Marathon Europe is the Triple X team from the Netherlands, led by 16-year-old Ramona Bus, one of eight female team members. By lunchtime, Polytech Nantes had broken their own record set two days earlier, reaching an amazing 4,896 kilometers on a single litre of fuel. The team was certainly on a roll. Soon it was time for the work of the teams to be rewarded. Polytech Nantes won both the Grand Prize for the absolute longest distance as well as the CO2 award for the fewest emissions. That's a tough walk and we work so, uh, very hard all been, this year and we are very, very happy to win because we deserve that. Politecnico di Torino from Turin, Italy, also took home two prizes. Di Torino. The first and only team received... Uh, we don't think that uh, we will win two prizes. It's very incredible because we 
we have worked it out so yes, much. We worked so much, uh, we worked so much throughout this year, and uh, it's it's great to have a prize. Yeah. All round, great results from another record-breaking year at the Shell Eco Marathon Europe. Tam, kde se točí autobus, já jednou jsem stál, když jeden mladý řidič na svou práci lál. A slyšel jsem, jak říká, že už chtěl by mít klid, než po nocích se za volantem přijít. A dispečer té noci byl náhodou starý voda. Ten je starší než sám čas, povídá hochu, jak dlouho už jezdí s tou škatulí. Víš, já jezdil snad se vším, co by měl čtyři kola, a ty tu brečíš nad tou jedinou jízdou. Já jsem najezdil tisíce kilometrů a můžeš mi věřit, když ti tady povídám, řidič, ten tvrdý chleba má. Musíš znát volant, prsty, spojku a plyn, palce, písty a rychlostní skříň, chladič, čerpadlo, diferenciál, sitič, Karburátor, rozdělovač, kondenzátor, hlavu, ventily, baterie, stěrače, duše, pneumatiky, pera, plumiče, šasí, svíčky, přídel a blok, ložiska, poloosy, lanka, ojnice, prysky, přerušovač, to dobrý řidič zná, já vím, že řidič tvrdý chleba má. Jednou si tu práci zvolil, tak zůstaň při ní stát. Chce to jen pevnou vůdy a tu svýho srdce dá. Protože sednout za volán, jen pořádnej chlap si smí. To ví i každý řidič sváteční musí mít pohotovost, pozornost, nervy a klid. Chladnokrevnost, představivost, odhad, trpělivost, stvořivost, plnou nádrž, pásy při kvuty. Dobrý zrak, lekárničku, peníze na pokuty, boj zkusíš platit, mazat, tankovat, zvládnout mi, platit škody, značky sledovat. Musí znát vyhlášku, mít dávku štěstí, na noc sundat mavé brýle, městem chodit, radši pěšky odbrzdit, před rozjetím to dobrý řidič zná, já vím, že řidič tvrdej chleba má. Řidič nesmí kličkovat na dálnici, zastavovat po jiný vůz, o zeď, o strom, troubit na slečny, pouštět volant, věnovat se stopařce, brzdit při směchu, překážet rychlejším, nadávat chodcům, zapomenout kliče odvozu ve voze, kouřit u kumpy, přejet šéfovi psát.